Hi, I'm Ashley. Welcome to my channel, Joyful Noise Living. I am a homeschool mom of three. Well, that's what Right Start Math looks like, and that's what you would be getting with when you purchase the curriculum. Um, and there's a peek at what my son and my daughter like to do when they use it. So, about Right Start Math. I like to share with you the pros I found and, and some of the cons and then my final thoughts on this and what I really do think about this curriculum. So first I'll start with the pros. The pros are for me, it is not workbook based and I've already said that before and you guys heard why, but I really love how it's, there's not a lot of worksheets, which is great for a, a five, six, seven year old who's not doing a lot of writing yet. Um, they can do most of their, they can continue to learn but not have to write what they're learning. They can do it orally. You can listen to what they're learning. You can play games instead of having them write down two plus two equals four over and over and over. So I love that it is not worksheets based, that it's hands-on, it's really fun. I love playing games. I don't know about you, but my kids love playing games. Why not? Let's do games instead of pulling out a math book again. My kids can do addition in their head um, already. Um, my oldest is seven and she's adding uh, a double digits in her head already. And it's so exciting to watch her do that. It's just so cool. She's like, oh, that's da da da, mommy. And I'm like, yay, you got it. So that's a pro to me that she's getting in that. And I like this curriculum, how they focus on the understanding of the concepts instead of completing a worksheet, which I know that's not the heart behind math curriculums, but that's what it feels like sometimes is, is just being able to give a right answer instead of actually understanding the concepts behind numbers and sums and, and, and um, I can't think of all the math words terms right now, forgive me, but understanding the, the thing behind the concepts on why five plus five equals 10, you know, things like that. And, and it's hard to explain. The book has an intro in their, on their website and, and their books that explains that the philosophy in, behind this method. Go ahead and look that up um, for yourself if you'd like to know more behind that actual philosophy. So for the cons, one of my, my least favorite things is the layout of the lessons. And I showed you that when you looked at the books, but um, it is, it's not simple to follow. And part of that is because I chose the first edition to use. And I've heard that the second edition does have clearer um, lesson plans that you can follow a little bit easier. And it's easier to do one a day instead of trying to break up a giant lesson into one or three days. It is teacher intensive, and that is also a huge negative, but for me right now, we only take 15, 20 minutes for math, and it's fine with me to sit down with my five-year-old and my seven-year-old to do math. If you're okay with that, if you can carve out that 20 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes per kid, or you can combine them when they play games together, you can easily do that too. Um, that You can make that work for you, but if you're wanting a math curriculum where you can hand it to the child, and you and go do something else, this is not the one for you. Um, the other negative is it can be pricey. It's not super, unfortunately, it's not super affordable, but the way you can make it affordable, here's some good things about this, is once you purchase the manipulative package, you have that for your whole rest of your math curriculum. You have it from book A all the way to book F that you will be using these, the, your children will be using these items. So it's a one-time purchase at the beginning to purchase all those manipulatives. Um, also, and you'll use it with, with each child that uses Right Start Math. So for example, I have two using it right now. So I, I'm, getting, I'm getting my money's worth because they're using the, all the cards and the, the things that I bought. And here's my tip for how to purchase this is buy it used. You don't have to buy it brand new. It is more pricey when you buy it brand new, um, but you can, my secret is I bought mine on eBay you can also check Facebook for used homeschool curriculum groups would be another great place to look or anywhere you buy your used curriculum. So look for it used. The only negative for that is it's really hard to find the second edition used. And that is why I bought the first edition because I found it used and I decided that I would go ahead and just go with first edition and deal with the, the frustration of the <laughs> lesson plans. <laughs> But I also, I would recommend, if you can do it, getting the second edition. So I'm looking, I have book A and book B now. If I move on to book C, I will be getting the second edition book of C so we can move into the newer version of the format. So that's, that's, those are my 
suggestions for making this affordable. So here's my final thoughts. Here's Ashley's final thoughts on this. After my research through for Right Start Math and lots of math curriculums in general, I have figured out, and I'm sure you guys may know this already, that there is no perfect math curriculum. There is none. There's not gonna be any that fit every single thing that you exactly want. Even saying that, I do think that Right Start Math is very good. I do really, really like it, and I've been very happy with it because it fits a tactile, visual learners. But what I want to say is and encourage you is that when you pick a math curriculum, whether it's this or something else you go with, stick with it. This, when you pick math curriculums, it's not a good idea to jump around, because and I know that feeling. I know what you're thinking. You're like, oh, this isn't working, and. And you're gonna run into a lesson, you're gonna run into a concept that is not gonna jive with your child. When you hit that wall, instead of running away from it and being like, oh, we need a new curriculum, this curriculum's not working, um, I say stick with it. And you know, at least finish one book, and if it really was not working, go ahead and try and look again, like I did with Singapore. Um, but if it works overall and you're finding just little thing, bumps here and there, then I say pick one curriculum, stick with it, and by the time your children get to the algebra, pre-algebra stuff, it will all level out. All children will end up in the same place, whether you're doing Matthew C or Singapore or Right Start. Just pick one and stick with it uh, because if you're jumping around too much, then your children are going to have some gaps because, and they might get a little frustrated because you taught them one way on how to do this, this um, math concept and now you're teaching them a different way to do it. It's almost like what they're doing in public schools now with the Common Core math um, method. You know, lots of parents are really frustrated because it's not how they learned how to do addition, subtraction, and division. But their children are learning just a different method, which doesn't make it wrong, it's just different. But it can be frustrating when you're changing that up so much for your children. So don't be changing too much. Because if you're changing too much, that can just be a recipe for tears with math. And that is not what we want, right? We don't want them to cry during math lessons. <laughs> Lastly, math is just hard for many of us. And it takes a discipline with sticking with it to master. So weary mama, do a little bit each day and you will see them improve, I promise. Short lessons is best because if you're going too long and you're trying to pound it over and over, you're gonna run into frustration. So do a short lesson, play, play a game, and then move on. Thanks so much for watching. Check out any of the links or the show notes below. And that was my joyful noise I'd like to share with you. I'll see you next time. Uh, check out any of the leaks, <laughs> check out any of the links in the show notes below. And thank, uh, that is my, and that was my joyful nose, noise. That's a, my bonus tip for you. So your children will thank you and your children may thank me, I guess, if, if you follow this bonus tip. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching.